Hi, it's Tina here and in this video I want to talk to you all about how speaking to attract clients is a process and it's a really important thing that you need to get your head around because without it you're probably going to end up uh, putting in a lot of work and effort and not getting the results that you want. So the chances are right now that you might be giving talks so you may be running webinars, so those talks could be offline, you know, networking events, that kind of thing. And then you're giving talks online, so you're running webinars. You might be making videos that you're posting on your Facebook pages or in your groups or on your website. Uh, and you might be doing Facebook Lives. But here's the thing. All of them need to be joined up to a client attraction process. If you don't do this, like I said, you could end up just working your backside off and not getting the results you want. This is certainly a mistake that I used to make. I would speak anywhere and everywhere, both offline and online, and I wasn't getting the results that I could have been getting because I didn't have a process. So let's have a look at what that process is in a bit more detail. Quite simply, the process is a sales funnel. Uh, this is nothing new. This is as old as time. Uh, I prefer actually to call it a buying funnel rather than a sales funnel, uh, but it's traditionally known as a sales funnel. Okay, uh, and the difference between the way that you use your funnel, uh, so the difference between uh, what I like to call a buying funnel rather than a sales funnel, is that you pull people in rather than push yourself at them. So let's have a look at how it works. Uh, so a typical funnel, and like I said, this isn't new. I mean, crikey, this is older than my grandma, uh, a typical funnel is uh, very commonly known as ADA. So awareness, interest, desire and action. And you pull your prospective clients through that funnel. And I say you pull them through rather than push them through and try and force them through it. You only really want the clients who are going to come willingly. You do not want clients who are going to be, you know, coming through, kicking and screaming all the way. So how do you use speaking within this typical funnel? So let's have a look. So awareness, the start of the funnel. And again, traditionally, a lot of people do this, but it's how you join it up to the rest of the funnel. So to raise awareness, you're probably doing things like going out networking, giving talks at other people's events. Uh, you might be creating Facebook Lives, doing you know videos for your website, all those things that I've mentioned already. Uh, another really good place to raise awareness is having videos on your lead magnet page and also running interviews so you can be interviewed by other people and you can also interview others as well so that you've kind of got a bit of an opera effect going on. Uh, so all of these things, if you use speaking, you can raise much more awareness uh, in your funnel and start attracting and pulling those clients to you. So again, let's have a look at the funnel and how you can use speaking in the other areas. Now, um, the awareness is where the journey starts. The interest, desire and action then can be achieved very quickly. So you might have one event where you move somebody from interest to action in that one event. So you don't necessarily have to have a separate speaking thing for each of the stages of the funnel. So to give you an example of that, you might run um, a Facebook Live where you grab people's awareness. So, you know, they become aware of who you are, what you do and what you can do for them. And on that Facebook Live, you might invite them to a webinar where you're going to talk about this topic in much more detail. On that webinar, now what you've done is if they register for that webinar, you have piqued their interest. They've put their hands up and they've said, yeah, I'm interested in this. But then on the webinar, it, uh, as long as they show up, they're interested. But then on the webinar, the presentation that you give can then move them from interest to, to desire. So they really now uh, desire to move forwards and they want to move forwards with you. And then at the end, they decide to take action and buy your product or service or have a one-to-one -one consultation where, you know, 
you might need that final step to get them to take the action part. So, but the speaking is really important. You can do this in all of the areas. Working offline, the awareness might be that you give a talk at a networking event and, you know, people then become familiar with what you do. The interest shows up when they come over and talk to you. And a lot of times, you know, it stops there. But what you can do is you can get people to show interest, even if they don't come over and talk to you by saying, if you would like more information on this, give me your business card and I've got a free ebook that I can give you or a free video series that I can let you have. Now they're putting their hands up. If they say, yeah, I'd like that, they're putting their hands up and they're showing interest. And obviously you then get them onto your email list where you then invite them to a webinar where you then build the desire and turn them into a customer. All right. So, but speaking is really important. But what's important is that you don't just do random speaking. So you don't do that talk at a webinar. Um, sorry, you don't do that talk at a networking event and then just hope something happens. You take your prospective customers through a process, through a through the funnel. Okay. Uh so how do you get that interest, desire, and action? Well, like I've already mentioned you invite people to webinars. It might well be that it's more appropriate to run a something like a four-part video series that you invite people to. It might well be that you get people to join your groups, such as your Facebook groups, and then what you might do is put videos in there, just like this one. Uh, it could well be then that people who are showing interest and starting to have a desire for what you do, you put a cracking video on your sales page, and it may well be that you draw them into having a one-to-one -one consultation with you where you talk about how you can help them and in what ways you can help them. And then through that one-to-one -one consultation, you build the desire and you get them to take action at the end. Okay, so speaking can really help and different types of speaking can really help with this process. What is important, though, um, in order to be successful at every single stage of this process is that you actually write it down, that you map it out, okay? So think of the step-by-step -step journey that your customers are gonna go on in order to go from just, you know, vaguely being aware of you to actually signing up and becoming a client. And what you need to do is write down all of those steps and map it out. And there may be different steps, so, you know, different customers might take come on at different points, they might, you know, they might leap straight in, they might go through more of a nurturing campaign first. What's important is that you write this process down and you're probably going to have more than one process. Now, the process itself can be simple. So it can be literally webinar registration page, thank you page. Uh, you do the webinar, you send some reminders uh, uh, about the webinar, you do the webinar and then you send out a replay. OK, so that is a very simple webinar process or it can be as complex as you like with multiple steps. And, you know, if they do this, they, you know, then this is what happens next. If they do that, this is what happens next. Um, and, you know, you can have several steps and make it as complex as you like. So a question to you now is, do you have a process? If you don't, you need to get one. <laughs> you need to uh, go back, watch the video again and start mapping out your process. If you do have a process, are you using speaking to facilitate that process? Because the spoken word is way more powerful than just the written word. So wherever possible, you want to be doing videos, webinars and actually you know, letting people hear your voice because it's way more powerful than if they just read it in an email or on a sales page, which is all text, that kind of thing. I want you now to go away and if you don't have a process, I want you to map a process out. And you can have different processes for different uh, products. You can have different processes following different like freebies that you may have. I want you to make sure that you're using speaking at every possible part of the process. So make sure you have got videos on your uh, lead pages and your sales pages. Make sure you've got, you know, you're doing lots of Facebook lives. Make sure you're doing webinars, all of that kind of stuff. And you speaking offline as well. 
And if you if you do have a process already, I want you to go back and look at how is it working? Where can you improve it? So when you do that, I want you to use the Facebook group, you know, do get engaged, share your processes, share your questions, um, ask basically anything that you need to know, um, share your progress, share your disasters, share your successes, so that you all and we all, I mean, I'm learning uh, all the time as well, uh, but let's um, get engaged with the process and grow together. So that's it for me for today, and I look forward to talking to you soon.